What's up? All right, so I'm trying this a little earlier than usual, but it's a special occasion. So I actually got to audition for this all-star percussion group that's going to be performing at LK Pass. And somehow I actually got in. <laughs> crazy to think about. But yeah, right now um, it's kind of a crazy day because I got a Wind Symphony concert and I also got the rehearsal today. But like I'm just practicing for that rehearsal right now, playing some Glass Cathedral. You can't really see any music, but it's some fun notes. I'm pretty excited. It's going to be a fun time. That was supposed to be the star of my fifth OK Pass vlog, but uh, for obvious reasons, it's not happening. I didn't really say anything about this on social media or anything, so not a lot of people like knew about this, but I still want to keep it on the down low because we may do something in the future, who knows, but it's still just really frustrating that uh, such a big thing that I've been able to do it, at least at the collegiate level like is not happening in the way I want it to but I, I guess it happens so it's not it's not the biggest deal in the world but it's still like pretty disappointing so it stinks I can't do my annual OK Pass vlog but I thought you know what I should still do something like I still like enjoy making these OK Pass videos every year so I, I was like I gotta I gotta still do something so I thought hey here's an idea Let's go back in time and look back at the past OK Pass vlogs that I made, look back at the past festivals and just rank them. Let's just see like what I loved about it, what I didn't, just what stood out to me and just I guess reminisce about <laughs> the, the good old times. Now I don't know if this is considered an honorable mention but my freshman year of high school that was my first OK Pass and I didn't have a YouTube channel, I didn't make a video over it and like I only have like a few pictures from there. And I didn't have a lot of memories from that OK Pass, so it's kind of just there. I remember it being fun, but that's about it. Also, I actually, <laughs> I thought that it was at the same college every year. So going into my sophomore year of high school, I was like, yeah, I can't wait to go to Swasu again. Oh, wait, is that a different place this year? What? So that was kind of fun. So my senior year of high school, I got to go to OCU for uh, my fourth <laughs> OK Pass I can't count, but that was my fourth OK Pass ever, and that was the technically the second one I made a video on, and um, that was an interesting time just because uh, that was around the time that I was trying to consider um, like who to commit to for college, and I was considering either OCU or OU, and I was looking at like both universities at what they're going to bring at this festival, and I was like, oh, they're going to be cooking something, I can't wait. I need to take a look back at these video just remember exactly what happened because I don't remember every single moment oh yeah the funny thing about this vlog is that like I call this series short OK class vlogs but um, this one isn't short in comparison to the other ones it's a good six almost seven minutes <laughs> just because I had so much content and it was really awkward since the year before I was like oh yeah it's a short OK class vlog but I wanted to keep up the brand but it was too long so I kind of just put short in quotation marks the only year that comes close to that is last year because i recorded a bunch still and it's still pretty short in terms of production value this was my best ok pass video yet and uh looking back i'm i'm, I'm pretty proud of it because the way i presented on the atmosphere stuff i think it was a little better than some of these other ones like i showed like the students point of view and like what we were doing but i also showed some like the performances and I get credit to them, so like that was that was really cool. This OK Pass was also the first time that I got exposed to um, percussion with electronic track by seeing Stop Speaking for the first time, and that was really cool because I have never seen anything like that before. So that was really special. Yeah, just some of the ways I edit some of the stuff, I'm just like, oh, that was spot on. The thing with the, the raffle hat, that was awesome. <laughs> the timing was so good there. Why were you robbed, Jake? Dylan took my ticket, and he was the first winner. Oh yeah. He's dead to me, where are you sitting? Dead to me. Oh yeah, and then there was a uh, Marimba, a mass Marimba concert that I got to be in, and that that was that was pretty cool. Yeah, from a video standpoint, it's like like one of the best ones. Now looking at the actual festival, um, I definitely would say it's my least favorite. Uh, 
not saying that it was terrible by any means, but I remember just not being happy about like the way it was run. Uh, like all respect to everything that was everyone that was running it, but uh, we got behind schedule and like just a couple things were just not that great. I remember happening. Also, this is like my fourth time doing OK Pass for my high school, and at that point, maybe it was senioritis, but like I was just getting kind of frustrated uh, with, uh, I guess, with people and just the way that we we're doing our, all of our stuff. And also, like my high school, like when, when we when we do percussion ensembles, um, our lit tends to be very equipment heavy. So we just had a lot of stuff like before we performed just in the hallway in my head I'm just thinking oh this is, looks, this is so embarrassing this is so frustrating but um, I mean you gotta do that sometimes like I went on to college and it was kind of the same thing probably the biggest reason that I was annoyed back then is because there weren't any like little like uh, grab bags or like uh, dumb hey uh, bumper sticker type stuff I was thinking what like what <clears throat> Also, that mass memo concert thing, I almost like didn't get to play in. That was another frustrating thing to deal with. And there was just a bunch of small things also that just made me annoyed. So like, it wasn't a like a terrible conference or it wasn't a terrible festival, but it, this definitely was my least favorite. In 2018, I did my first OK Pass in the collegiate level. And that was definitely a cool experience. Just getting to do that with those people was like way, like I'll just say it like it was a way better experience than it was in high school just because like there was more of like a precedent like people were like looking at us and they're like oh man the college people man they know what's up so that was that was really cool to be a part of it was really weird at the same time though because my high school was also there and like my high school and then like OU we were the two schools that were at the like, like the most concerts and stuff so I saw a lot of my old friends and old acquaintances, so it was it was interesting. It was something I really had to get used to. Uh, that year in particular, it was held up in Owasso, in the Tulsa area. So like traveling up there like took a little bit. And when I did this back in 2015, I believe, uh, for my sophomore year of high school, uh, we stayed at a hotel. In my head, I figured they were gonna do the same thing, but we only went there for like the second half, which I was a little sad about because I wanted to, I wanted to see more schools and stuff, but it kind of made sense. Like we tend to only go like one year. Now, like the actual video, it's not really a vlog because you've never seen my face and I don't do stuff in a typical vlog style. I was working with a like okay phone and I was working with an editor that wasn't all that great. So trying to make this look good wasn't uh, fun. Ooh, that was one thing though. We did go to Quick Trip for the first time, so that was cool. All right, we out here at Quick Trip. Tim, how you feeling? Oh, you know, it's the best place on earth. <laughs> oh yeah, and um, we had a steel band concert, and that was like the second time I've ever experienced a mass steel band at OK Pass, and those were so fun. It was such a, it's such a huge, huge enjoyment, and I actually got to play in this one, so that was really cool. And of course, they did have the goodies. Um, Oh no 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 no! They didn't actually. They had stuff. They had like instruments you can buy, which was missing from the last year. So I was like, "Ooh, good stuff." Even though I had no money, <laughs> I thought it was cool. Now uh, this Oka Pass is definitely way better than the previous year. Um, wouldn't say it's like amazing. I think it was just like it was pretty standard. And nothing really stood out to me. I remember like really one really bad ex uh, experience, and that was trying to get food before the like rehearsal for the steel band. Um, I just had to go to, uh, what do you call it, the quick trip, and just grab a small snack, eat it real fast, and go rehearse. That was very frustrating, and uh, yeah, that's the only like frustrating thing, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was way better than the last year, but uh, nothing really stood out to me. The Gus Condition, I remember, uh, like, like Amir, I think, killer player like he he was really sick it, it was definitely like an important year just because it was the first time i've done this in college okay so last year's ok pass was a doozy it's kind of weird where i'm placing this just because um in ways i think it's the best ok pass i've been to and other ways it's the worst ok pass i've been to for stars i had multiple commitments this day i had to get a paper done i had to go to a film festival and i was trying to go to both days of the of the festival which is something I hadn't done in two years so it was just a lot going on I was trying to commit myself to so much 
And also, this was later on in April. It was like late April or something. Or late April. It was later on in April. Yes, it was late April. I can remember. It was later on in April. It was late April that this happened, and the school year was like really amping up. And this was really weird because the previous OK passes were usually in March, and I've been to like one prior to that that was in April. So like the it's it's usually in March, but like it's already in March or April. But yeah, there was just a lot going on. So trying to get footage for this was like really weird. And that's probably why this one's on the longer side of being short, because like I recorded myself being at a film festival and I recorded that intro. This is gonna be kind of a weird video. You see, on top of the Crashing Festival I'm going to, I'm also going to a film festival. And on top of all those other things, I have to write a paper that's due tonight. I would definitely say that this is like the best uh, editive uh, vlog that I've done. And it's actually more in the vlog style than a year ago from that point. I was recording everything with an iPhone, so it looks really good in comparison to the past few years. Like, I literally started doing this I think with my Windows phone. Anyways, from the for, for the actual cl actual clinic. So the first day I went there, um, I got to see a couple of schools. Uh, I got to see more high school like do their thing because it was it was um, happening in more, and that's the main reason that I went to the first day because it was nearby. It was literally a town over, so I was like, I gotta do this. These great dudes, um, they were the clinicians, and I actually like like learned a lot from that first clinic. Like it kind of got my mind going a little bit. And then I went to that film festival and that was... So if you watch the video, I explain, I think, <laughs> that I was in a film production club and they were hosting a film festival. Um, I went to that, of course. And in that film production club, I'm not super close to anyone. So looking back, it was kind of a dumb idea just to go because I didn't send anything in and I wasn't close with anyone. So it was just kind of awkward. And then as for the paper, uh, that was a huge mess that I don't really want to go into. Oh yeah, well, we heard the piece alarm, Louis, 10,000 times. Oh yeah, and then there's one person uh, from one of the schools that I actually was going to play with in the all-star group, uh, Carlos. I didn't know him back then, but I know him now, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, I can't, there's not really much else I can talk about unless I get into like how I felt about the the whole festival. So, bad things about it. Well, first off, it got way off schedule. I had like barely any time to eat for dinner the second day. I was really upset. Like, I don't know if you could tell, but I was just really mad. And I just did not want to have to deal with it. The final concert. Back then, I was like, oh, this is really interesting. The the way they're doing stuff with this, like, Malakai, this is really cool. In hindsight, um, it was not a good concert. Just because, like, they were just jamming and just doing stuff when uh, it was just kind of unplanned and just it was kind of awkward. And at this point, I was at a really awkward point with uh, my sophomore year of college, and I was just so burnt out on percussion by the second day of this thing. I was just so frustrated, and I just kind of wanted to be done it didn't help that i did so much at once when this whole festival thing happened that like it was adding fuel to the fire pretty much so i was just not happy really but with the clinic that i saw on the first day and by some like pretty inspirational stuff that i heard from the brothers um i was actually really inspired and like i was like man i really want to just create stuff now and it just got me thinking about stuff i really want to do like, it's kind of a main reason that I really started to push for making arrangements on my channel because uh, I thought it was something I was really into. It was something that I kind of, like, at least I had the blueprint of how I wanted to do it. And I'm, I'm like, man, I can start doing this and maybe, like, do it far into the future. Like, this is really cool. So, I don't know. It just kind of, like, hit me in the brain that I'm like, wow, this kind of hit hard. So yeah, um, the one from last year definitely like burnt me out on percussion and uh, I was just not happy for a lot of it. I had a lot too, too much going on, made too many commitments, but I was really inspired and it made me think a lot about music production and just got my brain flowing, so yeah. Okay, so if you've been following along at home, you know that there's only like one of these videos left. 
Well, technically not. Well, there's another one that I made that wasn't in this like series, but it was technically the first one of all these ones that I did, and it was from like the very beginning of my channel. And it's just me like making a one minute vlog saying, hey, we're at the mall. Um, we're at the mall. We're at like a professional event where we've been at a professional convention for, for the past well, day. And this is from like my sophomore year of high school, that OK Pass when it was held in Union. So I got to kind of technically hold it in the mix here. And oh my gosh, like these two videos, it's really hard to kind of rank them and say who's first because both these Oki Passes, I love the death, and like that, they are really, really impacting me. Almost to the point of last year's Oki Pass, but in a lesser way, but there's just a lot more impactfulness and a lot less negativeness that I kind of hold them higher than the last one. So let's say they tie. Yeah. I don't know. I just can't choose. So let's talk about them. So my sophomore year of high school, it was at Union, and that was definitely a really, really cool time because I got to go up there in the Tulsa area and I got to stay in a hotel and to my memory unless I did it when I was a baby um, that was my first time staying in a hotel ever so that was insanity and uh, played video games in my hotel room that was a really fun time that Oki Pass I actually got uh, introduced to Ivor Trevino and he's like one of my favorite composers he's a really cool guy and like everyone in the progression world knows about him so it's like okay but I don't know just that just puts like a special place in my heart because um, I played one of his solos, Try to Be Happy, like the year after finding out about him. And then uh, two years after that, well, two years after the my sophomore year, we played Catching Shadows. That's an event all, all, all on its own. Yeah, just I went to um, That was like, that's when he was big. That's when the man was big. So I, I'm just glad I got to like, like know about him. And I also just got to expose to a lot of percussion stuff that I had never heard of and never seen before. I think that was the year that I saw Pink Resonators on a marimba and I lost my crowning mind. I just remember that year in particular just because of like uh, Trevino and I remember the, I remember the masterclass or the clinic or whatever like very well because he talked about composing and just like just going off of ideas and stuff which I never took because I was like I don't I don't compose I don't I don't do that but I don't know just it really stood out to me and then my junior year of high school we went to OU and that was a big deal because that's the college I'm going to now but like that's not the only reason this was the start of this whole like Okipass Fog series it's what made me start doing this whole thing and this one's like <laughs> I literally just like stitch uh, clips together and it's like really basic but um, it's just a, you really get to see just what I'm going through, I guess. Oh yeah, so this was the first time that I got introduced to uh, Steel Pan in person. It was my first uh, mass Steel Pan concert. That was a lot of fun. We just we got dancing and we were just jamming and having a lot of fun. That was, oh, it was such a fun time. And it's funny because I got to meet some of the people that were on that stage and I didn't think I was ever going to meet them. It's really funny just looking back on all these videos and just seeing like who I know. I've seen my old and my current percussion professors in like two of these videos, so it's just hilarious. Oh yeah, and we got to go to Heyday! That was so much fun! And probably the biggest reason that this uh, Oki Pass like stood out in my head is that there was a solo recital that you could have like signed up for, and like me and my friend Rayleigh, like we both signed up to do it, and um, I played Try to Be Happy, and that's by the man that I was introduced to literally a year ago. So, so it's just crazy how like how much like this festival kind of just impacts me, and also that was my first time performing solo at OU, and it was. <laughs> scary, but like I, I did it and it was a good time. I think that video is still up on my channel too. So yeah, that was all the Oki passes in the past... Wow, like six years? Man, time flies. And hopefully if I forget anything, I'll like add it in in post, but yeah, I really love this festival and it's really sad that it's not happening this year, but it was really cool came to look back at all the fun, dumb, and unique moments. Alright, well that's all I have. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Real quick, I just wanted to give thanks for the support on my Beneath the Mask arrangement. It seems like you guys really enjoyed it and I plan to make more stuff like that soon. I could be uploading more frequently, but because of everything that's going on, I've been very unmotivated to do much of anything. 
but I'm willing to put that aside to create something to make your day. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.